Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today with my um, Print Pressions Weeks and this kit from Plan With Pizzazz. This comes folded, so you can store it in one of your um, sticker albums or, you know, wherever you want to, but then you can unfold it, and all your stickers are on there for your Print Pressions or any small planner. I've used these in my pocket rings. You can use them in your B6, your A6 very versatile you can even use it in like your air and contrin if you like some people just like minimal stickers so i'm going to do my print pressions i have the oops cover that kane was selling because i don't know it was cheap and then i have these from planner friends it's supposed to reinforce the seam and i made this little cart deco thing from a tutorial i saw on youtube and then here's the back. Um, I made this little, it's just a pencil board. And I put some stickers on here. And that's it. Okay, so, oh, this is also from Planner Friends. It's a bookmark. So we're going to get started. Last week I filmed a plan with me in my plum paper. And the footage got messed up. The file got messed up. So I couldn't post it. So hopefully... This goes better today. So anytime that I have number stickers, I save them. I cut up whatever's left and I put them in this sticker album. So these are all just random pieces of date covers, both words and numbers. It's a great way to save those, hold on to them and use them whenever you need them. So I'm going to use the date covers for this week and put them on the little flowers here. I'm trying a new setup because the other setup I was using with a different tripod was not working for this. Like I had to stand at the side and my arms looked weird. So I'm trying something new in front of the window to see if it works better. Hopefully it does. I guess I could have put these in this, the corner or something too. Like you could put them over here. You could put them down here. I just thought they'd be cute in the center of the flower. It's up to you. It's your sticker kit. You bought it. Do it however you want. Okay. A lot of people do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't do it that way. I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. I like middle, beginning of the week, end of the week. So that is how I lay out the date covers for the days of the week. But again, it's however your mind works and however you decide you want to use it. It's just the way it works for me. So put the date covers down. I'm going to finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, so all the date covers are on. It's looking cute already. And now this is, I didn't even tell you, this is my social media planner. Um, I plan out when I have to post things on Facebook or Instagram or my YouTube channel or also my Etsy shop. Some of this stuff is in here. But I'm trying to put some of that Etsy shop stuff in my plum paper. So like it's not all in here. Oops. It's not straight. That is terrible. Huh, terribly crooked. I'm not, key I don't do a keto diet, but have any of you follow Nicole Burgess on YouTube? She does like keto meals and stuff. She makes this keto queso that I had to try. It was so good. I made it today. Oh, so good. Okay, let's see. I'm going to see if I can find some glitter headers. I'll be right back. Okay, I grabbed some pink glitter headers from Design Ski Sticker Co. And this marble washi because I'm not quite sure what I actually want to put down. Definitely going to put the marble washi up here, though. I needed something up there. I don't have, like, a, like a checklist or anything. So I need... I just need something. Um... That 
that works. Okay. And then I'm going to do a to do up here. I'm going to put it in the middle like that. And then a checklist. And two habit trackers. And then another piece of that washi, I think, just to break up that space. It's so pretty. Man, I can't put anything straight today. What is wrong with me? And then another habit tracker at the bottom. Perfect. So that's the first box done. Then I'm going to take the weekend banner and put it between Saturday and Sunday. Put it at the bottom. So cute. And then I think I'm going to put glitter headers on all the days of the week. I usually stick all the stickers on my hand like this if there's like a whole bunch of the same ones. And then I'll just go through. So I'm going to put all the glitter headers down. And I'll meet you right back here. Okay. I just needed something to break it up a little bit. So that's enough of those. And I think we'll do this one here because it says live on coffee and flowers. Well, Mondays are definitely for coffee. Let's put that there. And then this little scalloped box underneath. And we have four more. Since I always plan on Sundays, I think I'll put this one here. I gotta lift up the K. Okay. So I can lay that down. Two, no. I was going to put this on the bottom, but it matches the washi, and I didn't want it to be so, um, matchy-matchy, so I just uh, changed my mind. Okay. So cute! And then on Friday, I think we'll do a to-do, and on Saturday we'll do a to-do with matching little checklists. So I'm going to add them right now. Friday. This kit is so cute. Friday. And then a half box. Wednesday. We're going to do the same thing. To do with the checklist. And a half box. Because it's so cute. Saturday, <laughs> excuse me, I want to do this half box with a to-do underneath like this and this little scalloped box there and let's put this little box here since I have it. And I think that's it. It is so cute. And this is all I have left are a couple little icons, two checklists, and this little box. And I'll stick those in my reusable planner album. Um, it's so cute. So, yeah, let me hold it up so you can see it. Remember, if you use Tessa 20, you can save 20% at Plan with Pizzazz. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye for now.